When attempting to manifest your goals and your desires, do you have trouble convincing yourself that you've already attained them? Does your conscious mind keep telling you you don't actually have it yet? How can we convince ourselves that we've attained our future desire and not get shut down by our paradigm or our social conditioning? In this video, we will explore some methods to ignore your current reality and extend the process of convincing yourself you already have what you want. My name is Jacob James, and this is Project Prospero. Welcome to Project Prospero. My name is Jacob James, actor, university professor, and father. I created Project Prospero to help raise the global vibration and shift it away from misery and towards joyfulness. When using the law of attraction to manifest our future desires, we must step in to our future selves. The future you that has that job, that relationship, financial abundance, opportunity, freedom of time, or anything else that you desire. For example, I was working on manifesting a faculty position as a professor at a specific university. I would imagine the lesson plans, the arc of the particular course I was teaching, the drive to the university, my parking space, the clothes that I'd wear when I was teaching, and spend as much time as I possibly could believing that that was my current reality. The trouble is my paradigm or my social conditioning would creep in to tell me, you know, you aren't actually a professor yet. You don't actually have that job. Or you're just fooling yourself. And this would stop me in my tracks. However, by persisting with the aid of some of these methods that I'm going to tell you about right now, I got the job and I'm now a professor at that specific university. What we must be aware of is that in indulging that sense of doubt and resigning that we don't actually possess those desires yet, we begin working to manifest not having that desire, not having that job, not having that relationship. So you have a choice. Invest time and energy into ignoring your current reality. Believe, live, and take action as if you already are in possession of your desire. Or invest that time and energy into a sense and a belief of lack. And believe, live, and take action as if you haven't achieved that desire. Either way, you are the creator of your own reality. And depending on what perspective you choose, you can be sure that that's not only the reality that you'll exist in, but you're actively working towards that as your future. So here are a few ways to ignore your current reality and solidify the reality of attaining your goals. Number one, basic acting tools. I'm an actor and I have been since I was 11 years old. I've been fortunate enough to earn my living and pay my bills by acting and teaching acting. Actors have an advantage when it comes to the law of attraction and the practice of manifesting because we train and practice the exercise of being other people with other lives and other desires. So here are some basic acting tools that will help you ignore your current reality and step into the future you. The first thing an actor must identify is what their character wants, their objective, and fight for it. Never be satisfied until it is achieved. Identify the obstacles that are preventing you from achieving your objective and surmount them. Once the objective is identified, look at these questions. Where am I coming from and where am I going? If I enter into a scene right after robbing a bank, it's going to look like this. Give me that sandwich. However, if I enter into the scene after just meeting the person of my dreams, it's going to look like this. <sighs> Give me that sandwich. Your specific choice about where you're coming from influences and determines how the scene will play. So in your life and your journey towards manifesting your desires, ask yourself how you enter into the present moment. If the place you're coming from is a place of lack and frustration at not already having your desire, replace it with the opposite. I'm coming from a place of abundance and gratitude for having attained my desire. 
Live life always coming from there. Identify your past victories and achievements. If you want to accelerate this process, try to always be coming from a place of celebrating those past achievements. A second method is to awaken your inner child and see through that perspective. When playing with my five-year-old son, watching him using his construction vehicle toys, Lego, or even just pots and pans, reminded me of how effortless it is for children to suspend their disbelief and commit 100% to ignoring their current reality and living in the fantasy world of their imaginations. When he's sitting in a laundry hamper pretending it's a pirate ship and using a balloon as a cannon, from his perspective, he is utterly and unshakably a pirate on a pirate ship. And if you watch closely, you can see that behind his eyes, that is his full and complete reality. And he believes without question that he is who he is and he's doing what he's doing. We must reawaken that sense of play and imagination in ourselves as adults when it comes to manifesting our desires. Then we can escape the reality of lack and step into the reality of abundance. I hope this video will help you in your journey towards manifesting your desires. It's my wish that these ideas that helped me will in turn help you. A big thanks to all my subscribers. Uh, we're growing every day. We're almost at 200 subscribers and it's only been about three weeks since the channel's been launched. Your encouragement and your support is uh, it's so inspirational to me. It can be a very vulnerable experience putting oneself out there. And it's really nice to know that these ideas are helping you. So if you're not a subscriber, please hit the subscribe button and the notification bell and like this video. And please comment below any examples you have of methods of ignoring your current reality and replacing it with the reality of your desires. This is Jacob James sending you love and light. Namaste and good luck.